I'm being asked to find the length of BH in this cuboid. So in order to find this, I need to use this right angle triangle here. Because this is a right angle triangle, I'll be able to use Pythagoras to find this length here. I'm going to convert my 3D diagram into a 2D diagram. So this is the right angle triangle. I've got B here, D here and H here. And I'm looking for BH, which is this. To use Pythagoras, I need to know the lengths of the other two sides. DH is four centimeters, so I know that one. If I knew this one, I'd be able to do it, but at the moment, I don't know the length of BD. So I need to go back to my 3D diagram and see if I can work out this length here. I can see that this length BD is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle here. So again, I should be able to use Pythagoras to find this length. I'm going to convert my 3D diagram into a 2D diagram again. So I've got BC and I've got D here and this is the right angle. The one I'm looking for is BD. Now BC is 12 and DC will be 3. I can now use Pythagoras to find this length. So I have y squared equals 12 squared plus 3 squared. So I get 144 plus 9, which is 153. Now y will be the square root of 153, and I'm going to leave that like this. Now remember, y is actually BD, so I can put that on here. I know that it's root 153. Now I can use Pythagoras on this triangle to find the length that I was looking for. So using Pythagoras, I have x squared equals this squared. And now you can see why I've left it as root 153, because I've got root 153 squared, and we know that the answer to that is going to be 153, plus 4 squared. So, this is 153, and this is 16. Adding them together gives me 169. I can now square root this to find x, and that's 13. So the length bh that I was looking for is 13 centimetres. Just out of interest, when your three lengths, length, width and height, are all at right angles to each other, then you can use one step to get the answer. You can say that x squared is a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So this gives me 12 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. If I work this out, I get 169 and then I can find x by square rooting and I get 13. So notice how using this method I get the same answer but using just one step. Remember this works when your length, width and height are at right angles to each other. Here's a question for you to try now. This question could be on the calculator paper or the non-calculator paper. Try it without a calculator and if you get stuck you can use one to help you. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. Here's the answer. I've shown you the working out using both methods. Here's another type of question for you. This time you're looking for the height mt, which is this here. You're told that the sides of the base are 10 centimetres long, so this is 10 centimetres and this is 10 centimetres. And you're told that AT, BT, CT and DT are all 13 centimetres, so this here 
is 13 centimetres. Now you need to use Pythagoras to find this height. You can use a calculator for this one, but I'm afraid you do need to do it the long way because the length, width and height aren't all at right angles to one another. This angle here is not 90 degrees. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. So I'm hoping that you used this right angled triangle here. And you should have drawn it in 2D. Like this. You should have then noticed that you don't know the length of AM, so you need to look for that on the 3D picture. That's this length here. Now the best way to find this is to actually find AC and then halve it to give AM. AC is the hypotenuse of this right angled triangle. Again, you should have drawn this in 2D. Now we work out why using Pythagoras. Now because this is a calculator question, we can actually find the square root of 200. Notice that the question wants the final answer to one decimal place. So for this working out stage, I'm going to have two decimal places, and that's 14.14. Now remember, the length we're looking for is AM, and AM is exactly half of Y. So we can now halve this, to give us 7.07. .07. I can go back to my original 2D diagram and put this on here. Now I can use Pythagoras to find x, which is the height of mt that I'm looking for. Pythagoras gives me this, which I can now solve to find x. I get this, so the final answer to the question is that the height is 10.9 centimetres. Here's another one for you to try without any help at all this time. Remember, you can use a calculator for this. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answer, press play. Here's the answer, 14.14. .14. 